I welcome you back for some of the most important questions of electrostatics. And here we are. What do you uh, know? There is a constant value of potential associated to each point of equipotential line. Now, if two different equipotential lines intersect each other, then at that point of intersection, there will be two values of the potential. For a single point, we'll have two different values of the potential, which is not possible. So physically, does the potential, does the difference of equipotential potential lines cannot be, cannot cross each other? So this is the logic. The question is, if the two equipotential lines cross each other, can cross each other or not? They can't cross each other. Why? Because this is the reason. There is a constant value of potential associated with each point of an equipotential line. Now, if two equipotential lines intersect each other, then at the points of intersection, there will be two values of potential. So this will be the only reason where they will cross over each other. Two values of equipotential, which is not possible. A single point which will have two different values of equipotential, which is not possible, there it is. So physically, it is not possible. Thus, different equipotential lines cannot cross each other. So this was the reason, and this was the question number nine. And we were asked to explain whether they can cross each other or not. Because they, 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 it means they have two values, which is not physically possible. Thank you very much for your.